a child is injured at birth, a lot of times parents have lots of questions, especially mothers. Was there something that I could have done to help prevent my child's injury? But in cases where the parents have done absolutely nothing wrong, but the fault lies with either the doctors or the hospitals, these individuals have to take responsibility for their actions. Hello, I'm Marcus Boston, and I'm a medical malpractice attorney practicing law in the state of Maryland. And I would like to talk with you today really quick because as you can see, I am on vacation with the family. But I would like to talk with you really quick today about childbirth injuries and some of the things that can come up in these particular types of cases, especially if your child has suffered a brain injury. One of the main things that medical malpractice attorneys who handle these types of cases, one of the main issues and one of the main places that these attorneys look, especially when there's a brain injury at play here, is the fetal heart monitor. And the reason why attorneys are looking at these particular areas is because if the child is under distress during a vaginal delivery, for example, the fetal heart monitor will alert the doctors and the hospital staff that the child is having problems. Oftentimes, if doctors are not paying attention to this important piece of information during delivery, if doctors aren't paying attention to it, the child can suffer a brain injury. And this is normally due to a lack of oxygen. There are other issues that also present themselves in childbirth injuries. For example, a shoulder dystocia situation. And this is when the child gets stuck behind the mother's pelvis and the doctors do not act appropriately to help free the child. What can end up happening is the child can suffer either an injury to the brachial plexus area or to the limbs and other places like that. So I realize that if you're watching this video today, more than likely your child has suffered an injury at birth and you have more questions. You have concerns. You just don't know what to do. Well, if you have these questions and concerns and your matter happened in Anne Arundel County, Maryland, Prince George's County, Maryland, Montgomery County, Maryland, Baltimore City, well, anywhere in Maryland, this is what I invite you to do. Go ahead and pick up the phone and give me a call. I can be reached at 301. 8504832 or if you prefer you can send me an email to medical injury at bostonlawllc.com we answer medical malpractice questions like yours all the time and i will be glad to listen to your story all right guys that's going to be it for today's quick educational video i'm going to go ahead now and spend some time with the family and get out of here take care